is once again welcome to the class of economics in shetty's academy where we discuss various concepts with very simple tips and easy keywords whenever we discuss personal income private sector income and private income we normally get confused to remove this confusion let's discuss all these types of income and do some numericals very quickly okay let's start with personal income what is personal income here term personal is written you can see that and in that term personal person is given c p e r s o n person that means personal income is nothing but income received by individuals or the households in any domestic territory plus rest of the world that is income received by households and the individuals within and outside the country here within and outside the country is written that means whatever income is received by any individual from outside world so say for instance america africa china anywhere whatever remittances you receive from outside world they are also included in your personal income so we can say that personal income is nothing but income of households and individuals within and outside the country okay so what are the different examples of personal income we have here wages salaries if you are into any job and kind of work that you will get wages or salaries then we have mixed income what is mixed income we have already discussed this concept in our concept of national income you can watch those videos or you can understand that over here also that is mixed income is nothing but income of any person who is self employed for instance if i have a coffee shop or i have a coaching institute or a tuition point so in that case i am the manager i am the worker over there i serve coffee or i teach to the people that uh, building belongs to me in which that uh, venture is ha has been opened so i am receiving the income which is mixture of all the income that is rent interest profit salaries and wages everything so you can't differentiate between all these kinds of income so that is known as mixed income right So if I'm a manager, I'm getting salary of manager also. I'm owner, I'm getting uh, uh, of a coffee shop, I'm getting profits also. I'm worker over there, I'm getting wages also, right? So everything I'm getting. So self-employed people get mixed income. Then bonus, you get bonus also. It's included in your personal income. Then rent, interest, profit, dividends. What dividends are included? See, dividends are earned by your. Uh, so uh, sorry, this dividend is a part of earning of your uh, private sector. Uh, firms or businessmen, but they are received by shareholders. Dividend is a part of dividend is a part of profit of that uh, firm that is received by shareholders. So it is included in your personal income. Then transfer incomes. What are they? They are simply the incomes or the transfers received by households or individuals from some other sources. Say, for instance, government gives you subsidies, unemployment allowances. old age pensions or any kind of gifts or grants from anywhere so that is known as transfer income so all types maybe from within your country or outside your domestic territory or rest of the world so all these are examples of your personal income right then we will discuss our private income what is private sector income private sector see there is a difference between private sector income and private income these are entirely different so don't get confused between these two concepts private sector income so private sector that means sector private sector of any economy any particular economy say for instance indian economy or american economy or anywhere so private sector consists of two components that is individual households and your firms or industries the manufacturing sector so this is your private sector so private sector income is nothing but income of your private sector okay so it is received within domestic territory here it is written within country that means it is received entirely within country only and no rest of the world no net factor income from abroad and no transfer incomes from anywhere are included so it is simply your factor incomes in private sector no government income is included okay so here i have written here government sector crossed i put a cross against government sector why because government income is not included in your personal income private sector income and private income also so it is only included in your national income okay so here we will not include government sector income only private sector income okay this is factor income and this is denoted by ndp and factor cost 
of private sector within domestic territory no outside world okay so what are the different components of this private sector income here we have compensation of employees that means that is uh, your uh, aggregation of salaries and wages which we receive then we have your payments in cash and kind social security contributions given by employers and then we have retirement pension see kindly note that retirement pension is entirely different from old age pension old age pension is your transfer income and your retirement income is deferred payment you have worked for your retirement pension and you're getting that so it's component of your compensation of employees then we have operating surplus what is operating surplus income from property or entrepreneurship it has three components main components rent interest profit and profit again has three components what are they they are dividends corporate profit tax or corporation tax and last is your um, undistributed profits so these are components of your operating surplus then mixed income we have already discussed mixed income is nothing but income of your self employed people so we have discussed that this is factor income of your uh, private sector within domestic territory then we move on to private income what is private income Private income is just addition of or sum total of private sector income. We know what is private sector income now? Within domestic territory. That is factor income within domestic territory or income of private sector. Then net factor income from abroad. Whatever income is earned by people of our nation or residents of our nation outside the world. That is known as net factor income from abroad. And that is received by your personal sector. That is personal income. Because net factor income from abroad is received by people, that is households. Then transfer income, they too are received by whom? Households only. They are not received by government. Okay. Then national debt interest. The, uh, there are three components of transfer incomes here. National debt interest. What is that? Whenever government sells some securities or bonds in market, we purchase them. Okay. Then government has to pay interest on that. So whatever loans are taken by government, and whatever interest is paid on them, that is known as national debt interest. It is debt on government and government has to pay interest on that and that's why it's known as national debt interest. And then we have net current transfers from rest of the world. Whatever gift, gifts, grants, aids, relief or any relief fund. So suppose there is a flood in any uh, part of our nation and we are getting relief fund from any financial uh, organization institution or any country that is included in your net current transfers then we have current transfers from government administrative departments our internal administrative department of any nation also undertakes certain transfers they are known as current transfer from government administrative department so that's all about your personal income private sector income and private income see uh, here private sector is the only sector where rest of the world is not included you need all, uh, always to remember and here we can abbreviate this as PNT this private sector income what is private income P N T this is abbreviated form of your private income that is we include private sector income net factor income from abroad and transfer incomes and transfer incomes again have NLC that is national debt interest national uh, net current transfers and current transfers from government administrative department so you can remember by this uh, uh, keyword then we have private sector this is just your ndp at factor cost nothing else and you know what is ndp at factor cost and personal income of households within and outside your country and all the sources of income of any personal uh, person or individual household are included in your personal income then we need to see certain formulas to solve our numericals, we will be solving them. Okay, private income. We have two basic formulas for calculating our private income. That is what? Private income is equal to NDP at factor cost minus. That is NDP at factor cost of whole economy minus NDP uh, of factor cost of government. So, we will deduct NDP at factor cost of government from total NDP at factor cost. That is total national income we will uh, deduct government income and then plus simply add your net factor income from abroad and transfer income so here it is the same formula over here plus net factor income from abroad plus transfer incomes then the second formula by calculating your 
प्राइवेट इनकम इज योर पर्सनल इनकम प्लस कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स प्लस अनडिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड प्रॉफिट कॉर्पोरेट प्रॉफिट टैक्स और कॉर्पोरेशन टैक्स ओके देन पर्सनल इनकम इट इंक्लूड्स नेट फैक्ट इनकम फ्रॉम अब्रॉड इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसफर इनकम सो दे आर नॉट एडेड ओवर हियर पर्सनल इनकम इंक्लूड्स ऑल दिस कॉम्पोनेट सी इट इंक्लूड्स बोथ दिस कॉम्पोनेट तो सो दे नॉट दे वॉन्ट बी एडेड सेपरेटली इन टू दैट सो पर्सनल इनकम इज ऑल इंक्लूसिव सो ओनली पर्सनल इनकम प्लस कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स एंड अनडिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड प्रॉपर्स ओनली सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मुला एंड देन वी कैन ऑल्सो कैल्क्यूट पर्सनल इनकम विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फॉर्मुला simply you here we have added it and here from private income we may subtract corporation tax and undistributed profit very simple formulas and we will discuss these numericals here now we will solve a numerical of private income here we are being given uh, net factor income from abroad ndb at factor cost of private sector ndb at factor cost of government sector we have already put a cross against this because we don't require ndb at factor cost of government sector at all so that won't be included the national debt interest net current transfers from rest of the world and transfers from government departments we can see all of the components of private income and the formula for that would be just addition of private sector income net factor income from abroad and transfer incomes first we will calculate our transfer income because that will simplify our numerical so what is the transfer income just summation of all these three types of income that is national debt interest net current transfers from rest of the world and your current transfers from government administrative department so transfer income is equal to your national debt interest i am writing ndi national debt interest plus net current transfers ncd plus current transfers of government department right so that comes to your national debt interest is 5 crore plus i'm writing these values beneath them net current transfers from rest of the world is 10 crore plus 10 crore plus again current transfers from government departments is your 10 crore okay so that comes to your Five plus ten, fifteen plus ten, twenty-five crore. Simply, so we have uh, received our transfer incomes. Now, simply we can put the values and calculate our private income. Private, P R I. Private income is equal to your private sector income. What is private sector income? N D P and factor cost of private sector. Simply, N D P at factor cost. of private sector government is not included private sector plus what nfia n f i a plus transfer incomes we have already calculated our transfer incomes so simply put the values ndp at factor cost what is that 20 crore 20 crore plus net factor income from abroad what is the value here we have 10 crore 10 crore plus transfer income what is the value 25 crore so it comes to 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 25 is 55 crore so the private income is your 55 crore and that is very simple okay just don't get confused always remember answer is hidden in your numerical for all the numericals you just need to see the uh, components given in that numerical and secondly always uh, grasp and understand your concepts really nicely because your uh, solution to the problem of any numerical lies in understanding a good understanding of your concepts and for that you can watch my video or other videos also i'm not saying just watch my videos because knowledge is captured everywhere you can watch it from anywhere Okay, so we'll discuss our second numerical now. Now we have one more numerical. Here we are given personal income, corporate profit tax or corporation tax, undistributed profits, net factor income from abroad (NFIA), PI transfer incomes, dividends, and we have to calculate again private income only. So we need to see what components are being given here. Here we are given personal income. We are also given corporate tax. 
We are also given undistributed profits. So what we need to do over here? We just need three components, nothing else. Because in this formula of private income, we can calculate our private income with the help of personal income, undistributed profits and corporate tax only. And we don't require net factor income from abroad, right? We don't require transfer incomes of any types and we don't require dividends. But why? Because these all are included in your personal income. We have already discussed it includes uh, your personal income includes net factor income from abroad. It includes all types of transfer incomes from within and outside the country. That is whatever government departments are giving, they are giving to your uh, individual sector or your personal sector or you may say household sector. Then whatever net factor income from abroad, whatever remittances are received, they are received by personal uh, sector or household sector. Then dividends. They are also the part of your company incomes or entrepreneurship that is received by shareholders that is distributed among shareholders. So these all components are included in your personal income. So we don't require them separately to calculate our private income. So simply you can calculate your private income with the help of your private income. PRI private income is equal to personal income, personal income plus corporate tax profit tax you can say corporation tax plus undistributed undistributed profits simply now what is the value over here personal income is equal to 20 crore right then we have your plus corporate tax is, is equal to 5 crore plus what is undistributed profit here we have 10 crore so it is equal to 20 plus 5, 25 plus 10 is 35 crore. Again, if you want to calculate your personal income from this private income, 35 crore. 35 crore is your private income. So reverse the formula then. This is your private income. So what would be the uh, formula for personal income? Simply subtract these two components from private income. We can calculate here itself. Personal income is equal to private income minus th these two components would be just subtracted. Corporate tax or corporation profit tax plus, I'm sorry, minus undistributed profits, right? So here we have 35 crore minus what your 5 crore minus 10 crore right so what is the value 35 minus 5 is 30 30 minus 10 is 20 crore so 20 crore is the value of your personal income so it is very easy to calculate personal income from private income and private income with the help of Personal income and the other two components are corporate tax and undistributed profit. So don't get confused. You just need to see whatever components are given. Are they of any value to you in numerical or not? And if they are not of any use to you, just strike them off in the beginning itself. And just calculate your numerical with the help of the components which are required. For that, you need to understand all the concepts really very nicely. I'm just reiterating. I'm just repeating this fact again and again. Just you need to understand all the concepts very nicely so understand all the concepts nicely keep watching my channel keep watching my videos and keep subscribing of course forward it to other people also and don't forget to press the bell icon okay thank you so much for watching and appreciating thank you so much